Okay, this video I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on quantum statistics. This is video number 24 and it is sub video number 6 on the series on density of states. I'm going to discuss density of states in energy space. I'd also like to note that I now have a website, universityofphysicstutorial.com. So this just very quickly builds on the previous videos where I derived the equations in vector and scalar space for uh, n space, k space, momentum space, and finally for velocity space. Okay, it was all pretty straightforward, and I've left the uh, the expressions there for completeness. Now, what I'd like to do is scale to energy space. So we are from n to k, k to p, and p to v. So I'd like to scale into energy space. Now, there are a few ways of doing this. We know that e is equal to uh, h bar squared k squared over 2m, so I could use this formula here for k and scale into e. But I'd like to use p instead. I know that e is equal to p squared over 2m, so I'm going to use that and scale from momentum space into energy space. So let's go ahead and do that. We know that e is equal to p squared over 2m. So we look at the expression for the density of states in scalar momentum space, and we see that the, it only depends on p squared dp. So we need to get p squared dp in terms of energy. So here's p, square root of 2me. Okay, pretty straightforward. Then dp is just the derivative of this, um, as I've done in the past. Very straightforward again. Putting the two together, we get this expression in brackets. Okay, I'm just putting them there for, for completeness. They're not very difficult to do at all. Next, what I'm going to do is pick this expression and plug it in up here. Okay, and that's it here. So you have 4 pi times the, the volume in real space divided by 2 pi h bar to be cubed, and then this p squared dp term. Note that if we bring the m here in underneath, we're going to have the square root of 2m cubed, like that. That's what we're going to do, just by convention. There's no particular reason for it, other than that is the convention. Note that this 2 and this 2 cancel, and that 2 cubed and 4 turn out to be 1 over, one, 1 over 2 as well. So the final form is this plug them all together, that the density of states in energy space is the volume in real space divided by 2 pi squared h bar cubed multiplied by the square root of 2m, cu 2m cubed root e de. Now, before we finish, this is a very common term. You'll be using this term if you're doing um, solid state physics or quantum physics or whatever it is. You'll be using this term when you're talking about solids at the very least. Okay, so it is important. It is important that you're able to derive this. Now, just to finish, before, just to, I suppose, to conclude this section on density of states. So now we have the density of states in vector and scalar space for very various different quantities. And we'll be using these uh, in order to calculate the number of particles, the energy, and all that sort of thing. So this is, this is, these are very important um, uh, expressions. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and you might also have a look at universityphysicstutorials.com. Thank you.